So there's a Christmas tree shop here, right outside the Natural History Museum. And I've just taken it apart now. Unfortunately, and you can see the fake snow on the ground and the signs and the snowman and it's a live video so you know this is today. And you can see the snow going all the way to the back. And this is actually a filming set. Um, unfortunately for me, I arrived when they were done. I knew they were here, but I'm like, I don't want to go. And then I'm like, oh, I should go. And then I missed it. But <laughs> we still have the leftovers and at least I can do a live video. So yesterday we had a snow storm and um, there was no snow on the ground, but today you can definitely see the fake snow on the ground. So we did get a lot of fake snow this year on the filming sets. Hi everybody, how you doing? Ali, hello UK. Hey Eva, hey Rose. How's everybody doing? Michael, thank you so much for sending stars. I really appreciate it. Kim, how are you? Yeah, so eventually I'm, uh, I do have some snow on the ground for you guys. And this is just for the background. Because they were not, they were only filming at the store, the, at the tree, the Christmas tree shop. And this was only for the camera, so it looks like it's actually snowing. Um, so it's Lisa McCarthy and it's a Bernie, Ginny and Bernie. I hope I pronounced the names right, but yeah. And they were doing a winter Christmas scene. As I was coming in, I saw them leaving. I'm like, Oh no. Yeah, but some days I like that. That's fine. And uh, yesterday I did go to the premiere for the Boston Strangler with Kyra Knightley and she's, she's as beautiful as, as you see her in the movies, which is it's quite remarkable, I think. Yeah, they're covering everything up and that's that's the end that is the end of the christmas shop in the middle of march and it's actually quite the prices here are well 135 that's pretty expensive i only saw the 20 at first That's the Natural History Museum. They're supposed to launch to um, have a new section to the museum. So they're supposed to be coming in February. Uh, I think there is some delay, but it should be opening soon and I'll keep you posted as soon as they open it. And here you can see all the trailers and the movie gear. I'll um, I'll edit the, cup, the caption of this video with the right name <laughs> for the... I'm not sure if it's a movie or a TV series. Oh, it's a movie. For the movie and for the actors. Which one of them is well known and the other one not so much. And um, yeah, usually when they book a place, it's for a lot of hours but here i know they started at 1 p.m and what is it 4 30 so they were pretty quick about it all the trucks hi germany pakistan thank you for joining 
appreciate. This is actually second day in a row I'm missing this filming set. Because yesterday I knew they were filming in Times Square. And, um, and I didn't go. And today I knew they were filming here and I didn't go. UK, Greece, let me. Uh, that's their code name, that's not the real name. But uh, since, I don't know if you heard that person yelling, I'm gonna go back and you guys are gonna see one of the photographers that keeps harassing me. And let's see if he's gonna yell again. The most, let's see what's gonna happen. Oh, did you hear that? 1,000 people live video. Did you hear him? Did you hear him? He's like cursing. He's like bullying me on the live video. 1,000 people watching you. I hope you saw his face. I hope they saw your face. See, unbelievable. The most obnoxious person on earth. The most obnoxious person on earth. But, you know, it's gone with, it comes with a territory. He's a paparazzi, so his job is um, to chase people and to be a bully, so that's what he is. He was, he, he saw, I was doing a live, I didn't notice him, and he was yelling at me when I was crossing, and then I'm like, oh, it's him, and then I went back, and he didn't fail. Because he always, he spits on me, he curses me, give me the finger, he goes to the police and tells them lies about me, he goes to the production people, tells them lies about me, the most obnoxious person on earth. And I'm so happy he did this on a live video, because everything is on record. I have, everything is on record. Whatever was going on, it was all on record. And some of the celebrities, they don't know how a terrible person he is. And some of them actually follow him on Instagram, like, oh, so disgusting. They don't know this man is like the lowest. He's like a cockroach. The most obnoxious person on earth. So this is, see, so this is one reason when like, I actually know there's a filming set and I don't go. It's because this type of people, he's not the only one, but he's like the worst of them. Um, so I'm like, do I really want to go and deal with these people? So sometimes I'm like, I don't feel like do this today. And Today I'm like, oh, I'm happy because they're already done filming. I'm not going to have to see his face. And then what do you know? He just walk on by. Ah, but I'm happy. I'm happy he did it on a live video. He didn't, he thought I was just recording. He didn't know I was doing a live. If he knew this was a live video, he would never act like this. But um, you see what I have, like... Yeah. Um, why is he doing that? He's like very childish. I think he's not mentally developed. Um, he's like very territorial. So some of these photographers, they think they own the celebrity and they own the filming set. So they try to bully any other person 
that go that comes to the area. So he's been actually bullying fans of the stars, and he he just very he's like a dog trying to pee all over his territory. This is but this is not his street. This is not his filming set. He's just I have the same right as he does. He just feel entitled because he's been doing this for years. And every person coming to the set he sees as a competition and he tries to bully you away from the set so you're not going to be there. And sometimes he succeeds because he's so, it's so um, stressful to be around him. You just don't want to be around him. So you go. So sometimes he's like successful with his behavior. I try to not let it get to me, but sometimes it gets to me. Um, and I know some of the fans have approached me and told me about how, what he did and, and it's like they're really afraid and I'm like, just ignore him, He's, he cannot touch you or do anything. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, kind of stressful, he's kind of a scary person, not somebody you want to be associated with. Uh, and I... I feel sorry for the celebrities who think he's like a professional. They are just fooled. They are just fooled by um, how he acts around them. But the minute they, they turn their back, He's like giving fingers, he's spitting. I have it, and I have it on record. Cause whenever I go, he start taking videos of me. So I'm like, okay, I'll take videos of you if you take videos of me. So I have his behavior on record. Um, a lot of times what they'll do, he'll just like see me filming. He'll just come and stand in front of me trying to block my camera. But since he's short, so short, and I'm so tall, it's not like, I don't care, I'm just gonna raise my hand. Like, really? And um, I've been trying not to uh, give him light, like not to post anything about him on my social media channels. So like all the videos that I post from Phil, look at the pigeons, that's so cool. That is really cool, woo! Oh, they're just, did you see that? That was cool. That was like a really cool scene. That was perfect. Um, so I try not to shed light on him, not give him any platform. So all the videos you see are always happy and colorful, but sometimes the scene around them is very unpleasant. And this was a live video, so you know, it was <laughs> just life. You saw. You saw the behind the scene, you saw. And he was um, holding back because I said I'm doing a live video. So he was, there, he was not spitting. He was not showing his finger. He was only using his words. But yeah, fun, right? <laughs> and that's the story. The time is 4.36 p.m. I'm going to edit the caption and I'm going to let you know um, the name of the movie and the name of the actors that were here and we actually missed because we came, I came as they finished. So yeah, they're just taking everything back to the trucks. <laughs> he always ruined a beautiful day. That is... Um, um, how do you say mission it's it is mission to ruin your day because uh, that's that's I don't know why I think he has like a really bad childhood probably we should feel sorry for people like this honestly uh, the Christmas tree is it because it's a filming set <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. 
I appreciate you guys. I appreciate, um, let's see. Magic Carpet Production. Okay, that's, yeah, that's the code name. That's not the real name. I'll, I'll, as soon as I'll, I uh, finish this live video, I'll edit a caption so you guys can see the name of the movie and the name of the people playing in it. Hey, Rosemary, I'm so happy you could join. Um, yeah, sometimes Facebook has issues. I know I've been dealing with some of them. <laughs> and these are the trailers. So whenever you see this kind of stuff, you know, something is being filmed around here. <laughs> don't Michael says don't waste blood pressure on him so my I actually my blood pressure is very low so I don't mind pumping it a little bit that's one thing the other thing like all my life I never been around somebody like that we so um, aggressive negative not mentally developed that's not people I associate with that's not you know I don't have people like this in my surrounding so um, finding out that there are people like him <laughs> and that um, I see him like pretty often and at the beginning it was very intimidating because like He's so aggressive, you don't know what he's capable of. Maybe, like, I was thinking maybe he'll follow me to the subway. Maybe he'll push me to the tracks. Because, like, you know, I feel like he's a crazy, he's a crazy, he's, he behaves like a crazy person, uh, unstable. And that's scary. It took me a whole year to realize he's not going to touch me. He's only, he can only use words and gestures but he cannot actually touch me and he and he won't he's like a dog that barks but but i don't i'm not 100 percent sure he's not c capable of being um physical because parts of me saying this is a dangerous man and this could escalate and i don't want to be around him when he's you know finally loses it because um, he's like very jealous, childish, and his boundaries are not well established. So that's scary. I don't want to be in this situation with this scary person around me, bullying me, abusing me. That's the Natural History Museum. This is where the dinosaurs are. That's him. Like, if this person would go after you, call you names, spit on you, block you, would you feel comfortable? Would you, like, not be stressed out? He's stressing me out. He's stressing me out. I'm telling you, I missed this set twice. I knew they were filming. I'm like, ah, I don't feel like going. I don't feel like being in this situation today with this man photographers singing they own the scene and they own the territory and nobody else can join. Certainly not a woman with a phone as the camera. So, yeah. Yes, the one I for, of the museum. Yes, that's the movie. I can hear the wind. It's brutal. Hey, 
Hey Donna, how are you? <laughs> Ursula, this man is not going to disappear. He is a terrible human being, but he is actually one of the most knowledge photographers. He actually has friends in the police that tell him what's filming where and when. And at a single day, he can be on five, six sets, filming sets. Some of the actors really like him because he do take, he does take great photos. So he is good at taking photos and he is good with talking to the celebrities and the security guys and the police. He's just a bad person. Like he does not show his, he does not show his face to um, celebrities or the police or the security guys. He shows his face to the people he thinks are his competition. So whenever you see a filming set, he's always there. It's not just colorful. There's a reason a lot of people are not in the field, because it's a very hostile environment, very, very hostile. So you have to have, you have to be tough. Otherwise, uh, you're not gonna survive. And uh, yeah, I think it's been uh, two years now of me doing filming sets and stuff. So, and there's a premiere tonight. I'm gonna try and do that. But before that, I have to go pick up Mika. So, hi, yeah, yeah. So he's taking videos of me. Whenever he sees me, he's taking videos. And he's like, you're harassing me. You're harassing me. I'm like, Ugh. you take video of me and you say, I'm harassing you and that's your evidence. Ugh. Hey, Gaylene, I'm so happy you could join. We had the most unusual live walk. Uh, hey, Jack. We were just on a filming set. It was like a Christmas scene. And now I'm going to pick up Mika. And yeah, if you see the Christmas scene, it's a filming set. It's, and it is live. It was today. With all the snow and everything. I did. Last time he took a video of me, I was smiling. I said, how are you? And then I blew a kiss. Um, another thing is that we have new trains on the subway. So the A-Line got some new trains, but they're mixed, so not all the trains on the A-Line are new, but some of them are. So I'm gonna try and catch um, a new A train for you to see. It has LED light and it looks kind of fancier than the old cars. <laughs> Galen said he wants Mika's ABCs. She actually knows all, to sing all the ABCs. And um, I have a video of her, like, the next one she sang all the ABCs, but this one she cut short and it was so cute. <laughs> I uploaded it, but she can definitely sing the whole song if she wants to. But you cannot, you know, I have no control. She does what she wants. Sometimes she'll do the whole song, sometimes she'll do only parts of it. Okay, I'm going uh, on the train. Thank you for joining and seeing uh, the behind the scene of um, 
yeah, <laughs> of my world. And take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.